Hello there my friends, welcome back and here we are with a basin full of a wash basin full of soap and water for our victims. We're still here with Carl the 431G and I'm just playing around with a camera here trying to get it level or some semblance of. So anyway the, the parts that uh, I'm going to clean today are this one. Definitely going to give that a clean. And the bottom, which I'm going to leave out just for a minute. And then the, the extension, the fold down extension. I'll give it a wash. And then that dude too. And this is soap and water in here. So I'm just going to throw that in there with that. And this one is just tap water. I'll throw that in there. Now that one is crud cutter over there. So, oh, that's what you see. Okay, I'm back with you. So, yeah, I've got the timer on. And uh, so when it beeps, then I'll have like a minute and a half or something to to be quiet and go. And uh, this is the inside of the bottom cover. You can see the red on it. And that was red felt, kind of a pink felt that they had inside there. And it got caught up in the, in the gears. And the guy I bought it from, he wasn't a very motivated individual. He just thought it was broken and accepted that and left it at that. But uh, anyway, so here we are giving this a scrub. I wish I had kept that. Uh, oh, I did. I did keep the uh, liquid detergent. This stuff here, the lemony stuff, good. And I got my paintbrush, so I can just stick it in the soapy water and then stick it in the detergent and give it a nice 100% shot of whatever that lemony dishwashing liquid is. So this will be the first cleaning. Obviously it's always a process of you know give it a clean and see what you accomplish. See what what you're able to do. I'm gonna have to give this more of a scrub right around this ridge here. So I'm looking for a little device I had earlier. It's around here somewhere. It's one of those little green and yellow sponges for the kitchen. A lot of the stuff I use in here for cleaning is, is kitchen stuff, right? You know, household stuff. I mean, so it is hard to to rinse, but you know what? I do have some water in here. And this, uh, this was a, uh, obviously you recognize that, it was a, a dish, dishwashing soap, liquid, liquid soap, dishwashing liquid soap. But now I've got water in it for just stuff like this. And see, if I was going to have a, a full morning or, you know, the better part of a day and do three or four videos at the kitchen sink, then uh, I would go for it, but you know I'm not. So, oh cool, I've got some towels I can use here. They're not spotless, they were what I was using on the workbench underneath. So, I'm just going to give this one a quick blow dry while we sit, because I don't want any flash rust at all. Flash rust is sneaky, isn't it? How are you guys doing? Did you subscribe? Thank you for subscribing. Did you like? Thank you for liking. And uh, did you hit the notifications bell? Sure you did. So you know every... T well, I publish every day, so... Watch your ears. And actually, I'm going to give it more of a towel dry first. Because, you know, the idea is not to... 
I mean, that's a joke about the spa. <laughs> or, or it should be. <laughs> so I'll towel, towel dry it like that. Get the obvious drops and moisture off. And now go at it with the with the hair dryer. High heat, low blow. A little bit of high blow too. There. I think we don't I don't think we have to worry about any any rust agglomeration there. Where am I gonna put that? Well, I'll just put it down there on the floor for now. And uh, next we'll Clean this down a little, and uh, same thing. Get uh, some pure liquid, dishwashing liquid on, and give it a scrub. Give it a a rubby dub with the brush, the paintbrush, utility brush. Okay, utility paintbrush. <laughs> and uh, there, I'm going to try and stay in. I gotta focus, Jeb, focus. Stay in the picture frame. Don't go wandering away, yapping away, and no video. These are videos, not not podcasts. But yeah, so just that's a nice soapy mess now. And soon this will be too. Gratefully so. Let's get some more water on here first. Well, we'll give it a little more of this stuff right up here. And even if I end up having to uh, to wash them all again twice, then so be it. It's like, you know, I'm just getting to know the machine. It's I've never done this before for this machine. And uh, we'll see how it goes. This brush I'm using, is a, it's made by Javax. And... Uh, I get it at the dollar dollar ammo store across the road. I get a lot of my cleaning supplies there, my work supplies there. But it was like two bucks and uh, it's really good for doing the inside of machines as well. And here I'm just spraying some just water just to get the, the soap off. And then same drill. Right away get the uh, get the shop towel to sop up the the pools of water, the puddles of water in the compartments there and you know the puddles of drops, the pools of drops so yeah that's these things are gonna have to be cleaned still especially that one on the inside But, uh, you know, it's, it's not all that dirty to start with, really. Okay, so guard your ears. High heat, high blow to start. Okay, I'll turn that off for a minute. And uh, it's feeling pretty dry, but I'm going give, to give it a low blow for another minute. I just wanted to give it one more towel dab just to just to make sure and, uh, and I'll put that down for a minute and I'm just gonna dry my hand off a little before we go back at it which is gonna happen right now so I'm gonna put it down I'm gonna separate the other one and this one with a shop towel so they don't clink any more than they have to and I don't want to scratch them so we're back into the pond again here let's get this one let's take a look at it whoops I'm just gonna pull up the chair a bit and uh, how are we doing for time we still got what about 
Well, it's showing four minutes before it shuts down. I set the alarm for about a minute and a half before it shuts down. So I have a bigger card in there, a uh, storage card, 128 gigabyte. I was hoping that with the bigger card it would give me more time to record, but it still only gives me 15 minutes. And, uh, but it is 4K, so and it uploads fairly quick. So normally. So that's that's what I'm doing. I'm continuing along with that. And uh, this is the big piece, the, the storage. The storage uh, compartment in the extension. So let me put the let me put that up a bit. That's a nice view. Me doing the cleaning and Carl in the background. But uh, I still have these screws to take off and oil under and all that. So there's still about four screws in here that I that I should have really like I should have got that out. But anyway, it'll get it'll come out and it'll get uh, it'll get taken care of. Nobody's gonna go home rusty, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> okay, so we'll give this guy the, or whatever it is, gal guy. We'll give it the the shop towel dry, mop up all the the extra. But. Uh, yeah, it's not that um, this is not the final cleaning. There's going to be another cleaning. This is just to get it clean enough to uh, to work with it. Okay, my friends, I've got to shut her down now because I don't want it to collapse on us. I've got less than two minutes. Um, please like, subscribe, press the notifications button, and come on back. You know, and uh, comment. Uh, what about your machines? Your hobbies? Your passions? Ciao, amigos.